18 games to go in the regular season, and the Mets are in wild card position. A game in front of the Braves, just a game behind the Diamondbacks, and one and a half behind the Padres. Old friend Chris Bassett goes for the Blue Jays. He had a very good first half, not so good in the second half. Well, his last five starts, he's 0-3 with an ERA of 6.00. His last win was back in late July, so he's looking to get back on the beam. Francisco Lindor. It's a very quiet offensively in this month of September, despite the fact that Mets are 10 and 1 in their last 11 games. The Mets offense looking to change that tonight against Bassett. And he lines one at left center field for a base hit. So that puts an end to that 0 for 15 stretch. And Lindor has his 159th hit of the year leading off the game. So the Mets have a leadoff base runner. Now Jesse Winker hitting second in the order for the first time as a Met. Did it quite a bit for the Nats earlier this year. And he lines one in a right field for a base hit. Lindor pulls in at second, and the Mets with back-to-back -back base hits to start the night. First pitch sinker from Bassett, and Winker got all over it. So now Mark Vientos, and he's been struggling the last couple of days, 0 for his last nine. And it's strike three called, a fastball over the outside corner for out number one. So from one righty to another, here's Pete Alonso. Pete breaks his bat, Bassett's got it, goes to second for one. The relay to first is high, Guerrero off the bag. And they're unable to turn the double play. Should have been two, but Schneider on the relay threw it too high, and Guerrero had to vacate the bag. First and third and two away, and here's Nimmo. For Nimmo, first time he's hit below the top four spots in the order since 2021. Looped over short, that's going to land for a base hit, and the Mets have the early lead. Lindor comes home to score. Nimmo dropped to the five spot, drives in the run with a two out hit after the Blue Jays failed to turn a double play. And the Mets have a run on the board of the first. Oh, and Bassett really was upset. JD's never had much luck against Bassett, just one for 12. But in his three games back from the paternity list, JD's had three hits and they've all driven in runs. Yeah, he's been steady. Swing and a bouncer to first. Guerrero has it on one hop and jogs over to first base to end the inning. And on the mound for the Mets will be David Peterson. He's been nothing short of splendid and getting better and better. What a second half this young man has had. Mets are 14 and 3 in his seven starts. Springer 0 for 4 last night. 60 times in his career he's led off the first inning with a home run. That's the second most all time. Up the middle, a nice stop by Alvarez out at second, but Springer is going to beat it out. And George Springer has a leadoff single. Here's Dalton Varsho hitting 214, 18 homers, hitting 286 against lefties this year. And Varsho pulls it down to Alonzo. He hesitates, now throws, and that cost him the double play. <laughs> and then Pete goes oh. back to the bag, and he and Varsho collide, and Varsho got the worst of that. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero with one out and one on. And there goes Varsho, and it's ball four. So it'll be first and second with one out. So two aboard for the Blue Jays as they try to respond to the Mets run scoring first. It's one nothing for New York. And Alejandro Kirk, the catcher, is coming up for Toronto. And he grounds it to third. Chance for two. Vientos to Alvarez and on to first. Double play. Double play. That's been Peterson's year. He gets out of the first inning unscathed. And Bassett thought he wanted to hit the reset button. Well, he struck out the side. We go to the bottom of the second inning at Rogers Center. Mets up 1-0 on the Blue Jays. Ernie Clement leading off the bottom of the second. Hits a grounder to third. And it's bobbled by Mark Vientos. So a leadoff base runner for the Blue Jays who trail 1-0. Seventh pitch to Horwitz. And it goes oh. over his head to the backstop. And down to second oh. goes Clement. That is a very wild pitch with a runner in scoring position and nobody out. And that misses high. Goes off the glove of Alvarez to the backstop. And that will allow Clement to go to third as Horwitz draws the walk one nothing Mets but the Blue Jays have first and third nobody out for Davis Schneider swing and a miss and a slider down and in there's one out here in the second so now that opens up the possibility of another potential inning ending double play here's Leo Jimenez first and third line into left a base hit Clement will come in to score up to second goes Horwitz and the single by Jimenez has tied it and the Mets have a runner in scoring position for Pete Alonzo. We oh. at a point and now Alonzo gets hit by a curveball on the shoulder and <laughs> gives a smile out to his former teammate Bassett. Pete feigning 14th, annoyance. 14th hit by pitch from Bassett. So now two men on for Nimmo who drove in the Mets run with a two out single to left center in the first. Called strike three. 
Sweeper at the top of the zone freezes Nimmo, who's still talking to home plate umpire Dan Merzel. He's punched out, though, to end the inning. A scoreless frame for Bassett, no hits. Peterson has just been so precise. A brilliant second half, and here's a start where trying to find it. So the Blue Jays have the go-ahead run 90 feet away. There's one out, and Alejandro Kirk is next. Down the right field line, fair ball. This will do it, and then some. Varsho jogs home, and Kirk is into second with an RBI double. And a 2-1 Blue Jay lead. Now Ernie Clement lines the ball to left, and it is down for a base hit. Winker was unable to squeeze it. He made a great effort at it, but it might have popped in and out of his gloves, so Kirk does not advance. He broke back thinking the ball might be caught, but it will be a single for Clement. Spencer Horwitz swings at the first pitch, and the infield fly rule is in effect. Two down now here in the bottom of the third. If he can get through this third inning with only one run scoring, he will be thrilled with that. He's going to get through Davis Schneider, whom he struck out his first time up. A well hit ball to deep right center field. It is off the wall. Kirk is in to score. Clement behind him. And Davis Schneider is in to third with a two run triple. Get big, Davis Schneider. A two run triple to make it 4 1 Blue Jays. Well, I don't know if he got as big as he could have, but he, that was a great swing going the other way on a fastball that was elevated. That's got to feel good for Davis Schneider. Here's Leo Jimenez, who's one for one. And he hit him on the ankle. And you can see David Peterson frustrated with that pitch, crouching down, slamming his bare fist into his glove. It's two outs runners on the corners. Joey Loperfito coming up for Toronto. Loperfito lines it into left center for a base hit. Schneider into score. Jimenez around to third. RBI single Loperfito. It is five to one. Mislocation by Peterson on what's been a really rough night. Probably the roughest night we've seen him have all year in a great year. We go to the bottom of the sixth at Rogers Center up in Toronto. Second game of three. George Springer leading off facing Wazkar Brazaban. And Springer launches one to deep left. Back goes Winker to the warning track and he makes a oh. splendid catch. Oh, how'd he do that? Jesse got turned around the wrong way and somehow spun back and got his glove in the way of the ball to Rob Springer. Well, he got turned around and corkscrewed, and I don't know how he did it, but he did it <laughs> just in time. Oh, it almost came out. Circus catch by Winker to Rob Springer of an extra base hit. Two down. Guerrero 0 for 2 today with a walk. And he lines one to left center, a base hit. Over the gap goes Winker to cut it off. Guerrero's going to challenge him to throw to second base. Alvarez with the tag. He comes off the bag, but he's still safe. Alvarez says check it out on replay. Looked like he might have come off the front of the bag. Mets are going to challenge the call. The tag is on. The hand comes off. And is the tag still on? Yes. Yes, it he's is. Out. Yes, he is. After review, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is out. And Guerrero out trying to extend that to a double, and that's going to end the sixth inning. Glacius, who was on base three times last night, now with a double as a pinch hitter. The Mets' first extra base hit since the sixth inning on Saturday. So the Mets have a couple of men on. Really quality pinch hit at bats in this inning from Iglesias and now from Taylor. And that sets the table for Mark Vientos. And that one pops Jeez. out of the mid of Kirk, and in to score comes Iglesias to cut the Toronto lead to five to two. Oil. So Kirk, who couldn't stop a wild pitch earlier in the inning, now commits a pass ball to bring in a run. Payoff pitch. Swung on, lifted the opposite way to right center field. Varsho's going back to the warning track. He is there, makes the catch. Taylor tags on his way to third. The throw is cut off. There's two outs and a runner 90 feet away. Boy, give Pete credit. This is some kind of at bat. And Pop's not messing around. He is challenging Alonzo with 95 plus each time. This year he's thrown his sinker 73% of the time, and to Alonzo he's thrown it 100% of the time. This will be pitch number 11. And Pete takes strike three yes. call. Got him looking to end the inning. 11 straight sinkers, and Pop finally gets the job done. The Mets get just the one run. It's Alex Young into the game, reliever for the Mets to take on lefty swinger Spencer Horwitz. Runner on third, one out. Well hit ball to right field. And it's going to be over the head of Stewart and up off the wall on a bounce. Clement will score, and Horwitz is into second base with an RBI double, and the beat goes on for Spencer Horwitz. And thus the Mets are down to their final out of the night. Struck him out. 
And the Jays have evened up the series. Mets offense continues to struggle. Just two runs and six hits tonight. A rough start for David Peterson, a rarity for him. And the Mets fall back into a tie with the Braves for the third wild card spot with 17 games left to play.